in the olden days, people picked a beat and stuck to it, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But later on, composers started rebelling against that and wanted to change the beat as they went along. And sometimes they changed it constantly the whole time. For example, in West Side Story, Leonard Bernstein goes like this. I like to be in America, okay, by me in America, everything free in America, for a small fee in America. And that's going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two. That's called polymeter because it's using two different meters more or less at the same time right next to each other. This polymeter makes use of the fact that two times three equals three times two, which is the commutativity of multiplication in math. This comes up in Vorjak's Slavonic dances, maybe to invoke a Slavonic folk dance feel to the rhythm like this. So this is going one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. It came up in earlier music in something called hemiola, when a piece would be mostly in three, but would just temporarily go one, two, one, two, one, two, using the commutativity of multiplication. This invention in D minor by Bach is in three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But then at the end, he just sneaks in a one, two, one, two, one, two. So we're going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. It adds a little bit of flavour, often towards the end of a piece. Debussy's Claire de Lune is another piece that uses the commutativity of multiplication for effect. It's about moonlight, and so it's obscuring the rhythm and making a dreamy feel to it. Just at the end there, we have one, two, three, one, two, three. He even does a four times three equals two times six here. The commutativity of multiplication sounds like a bit of an obscure rule in mathematics, but it turns out to be something that we can feel in music. Feeling things in music is a kind of obvious thing to do, Feeling things in math is less obvious, but we can feel things in math as well.